So Once Upon a Time in Hollywood just came out. And yeah, it was pretty good. But why would I want to talk about quality, well-made, and relevant films when I could instead get 20 views by talking about one of the worst films ever made? <laughs> so here's my stupid review for Rod Daniel's masterpiece, Home Alone 4, Taking Back the House. All you people are always talking about your damn comic book films. Well, it's my job to get some real cinema into you. Get it in there. Get Home Alone 4 right up in there. Holy fuck! Orson Welles might have moved a camera through a window in 1941, but Rod Daniel is the true master, moving a camera through a door in 2002. Look at that juicy cinematography. I know there are only three shopping days left, but they called and they want to see your house in an hour. Uh-huh. Mommy, bust turn off the music. No problem. Damn, Mom, savage. I need you to babysit Kevin. Well, I can Megan do it. Because she has to go to a rehearsal at the teen center and you don't have to go to the movies. I do if I want a life. I do if I want a life. I do for one a life. Christian, you don't have to go to Galaxy's Edge. I do for one a life. You're babysitting Kevin. Hey, where is he anyway? Kevin! Popular films category. Is this the fucking MTV Movie Awards? Like seriously? Like this, this, this actually pisses me off because for, for several reasons. For several reasons, it pisses me off because now you refuse to allow these movies like Avengers: Infinity War, Logan, Black Panther. To be nominated in the Best Pictures category. This Christmas isn't going to be any fun. Well, of course it will. Well, of course it will. This year. No, Dad. Why well, know you miss your dad. Yeah, I and mean, he loves me very much. You both do. No. That's not easy to explain. Uh, yeah, I married your dad because you were an accident, and now the sex sucks. Sorry, bye. Yeah, like, when people aren't having any fun and they're really bored. Kind of like that. And will you come downstairs? When you're ready? I mean, have I, has anybody else seen that movie? Do you think that's an Oscar-nominated film? Seriously? It's a cop-out. The Oscars, this is a cop-out for the Oscars. They want. They don't want to nominate Black Panther. Five minutes later. So, um, Dad, why'd you come tonight? Actually, I want to talk to your mom about something. Privately. Well, you know, uh, Natalie and I are living together. Well, when our divorce is final, I'm gonna marry her. I know it's really sad. Really? What's with the shitty audio mixing? It sounds like the piano is being played in another room within the film. I don't know how many times I watched Home Alone 4 growing up. Yes, I've actually seen this insufferable piece of shit, but some of this awful dialogue. I must have suppressed it or something, but now it's coming back to haunt my memories. This line and the bad acting have just forever been nightmare fuel. There's a royal family coming to visit. They have a son around your age. Actually, you, you might have a chance to play with a crown prince. A crown prince? This might just be the singular worst movie ever made. A crown prince? You know, he kind of reminds me of Houston Productions. A crown prince? Some of them are interesting, you know? Some crown of them are interesting, prince? you know? No! I hate Buzz. I wish I didn't have a brother or a sister. Well, you don't mean that. Yes, I do. This actor doesn't even have a page on Wikipedia. I can only assume he's like some serial killer. I mean, holy shit, this kid's a psycho. Yes, I do. Five minutes later. Perhaps I had to show my appreciation. Music on. Curtains closed. Mm -hmm. Oh, nuts. Just when things were getting good. Oh look, it's a family movie about voyeurism. Great. Rod Daniel constantly pushing that envelope, not afraid to be controversial. Nice house, huh, Pumpkin? Sure is, Mob. 
This movie is so fucking lazy that they just give fake Marv Harry's original costume. They just couldn't be bothered to take two seconds to see if it was for the right character. This movie just churns out memes. Oop, dope, doody do, and then we're gonna kidnap the prince. You sure we can pull it off? I mean, without Harry making the plans? Look where Harry's plans kept landing me, huh? In jail. Mm. Well, not this time. Look where Harry's plans kept landing me, huh? In jail. Not this time. I'm the boss. <laughs> Who's the boss? You're the boss! I love being married, eh? It's like Suicide Squad, but with better acting. I'm the boss. <laughs> Who's the boss? You're the boss! I love being married, eh? Wow. Wow. Damn, this Mr. is Carlster getting steamy. The young man claims to be his son. Well, send him in. Kevin! I can't even fucking explain how much I hate the soundtrack to Home Alone 4 taking back the house. Kevin! Teddy Castellucci deserves to be blacklisted from Hollywood. Kevin! Why does he sound like hey, a squirrel? Oh, I thought you said you weren't coming. Hello, Kevin. Hi, Adelie. I hope you don't mind me just dropping in like this. Is this the fucking MTV Movie Awards? Like, seriously? Like, this, this, this actually pisses me off. But my dad did invite me. You guys are losers. There are winners, there are losers. You guys are losers. So, is the invitation still open? I've been looking forward to spending time with you. I'm looking forward to spending time with you. Written and directed by Woody Allen. Ah, oh, Molly. This is Kevin McAllister, and he's going to be staying with us for a few days. Would you make up the special guest room? Ah, the special guest room. Ah, the special guest room with all the kinky shit. Ah, the special guest room. Go ahead, you try. Door open. Door open is probably the singular most nauseating film line after the oh I forgot to ask line from Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Yeah, it's about that bad. Door open. Wow, this stuff is so cool. Yeah, he's gonna be bored with that shit after like one day. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is such cool stuff! This is <laughs> This is such cool stuff. Oh. oh, look at this game! Oh, look at this game. This chair's a remote controlled chair! This chair is a remote controlled chair. Oh, oh yeah! This is so cool! <gasps> Think you'll be comfortable here? Oh see! Thanks, Natalie. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. Uh, I fucking hate this movie. Hey. Hi. General Kenobi. Breakfast time. Anything special you'd like? Anything? Anything. Oh, golly gee. What's he going to order? What's he going to get? He literally had the option to get anything, and he got some fucking French toast with nothing on the side? It looks like some frozen shit. They made such a big deal about the option being anything, and he chose the most standard shit. Wow. Sometimes I can't wait for Santa to come, so I end up doing some shopping by myself. 
Would you like to open one? No, I a spoiler. Yeah, says the guy who just put him in the room with the 13 screen TV. A big giant screen in a room. Next up, fake Kevin goes full retard. Dad, it's her house. If she wants to spoil me, she can spoil me. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Like, what a toxic parent child relationship. This guy's a pushover. What the fuck? But just one. And not. The biggest one. Oh, what? You opened the one that I said not to open? Ah, eh, fuck it. There will be no repercussions. You you get to do whatever you want, fake Kevin. Hey, it's not gonna take that long. And I won't have to work for the rest of your vacation, okay? And if you need anything, ask Prescott. Yeah, ask Prescott. That sick fuck. I think she's trying to buy my affection. <laughs> Kevin. What? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I don't even know how to describe how annoying that was. It's like a stupid onion where you keep peeling back layers of how annoying it is. Mr. Prescott, can I ask you a question? Yes. Can you make a milkshake? Do you have chocolate? What? What? I don't said anything I need. And you need a milkshake deal. A chocolate one. I need a chocolate milkshake. What's this thing? A mini elevator? Prescott be like, yeah, it is a mini elevator, you little bitch. We're about to let the stone crushing scene from Drive, you little fuck. Instant 11 out of 10. Just look at this brilliant tracking shot. Rod Daniel's direction makes Children of Men look like Manos the Hands of Fate. About to find Prescott's two terabyte homework folder. Can you read? <gasps> the door. No entry? No entry? No entry? No entry? No entry? No entry. Is my domain. That's where I draw the fucking line. We have now reached one of the most insufferable scenes of the film. You've been warned. Wow, be good. That's where I draw the fucking line. That's where I draw the fucking line. Off. I'm off to the store. Just look at that brilliant symmetry in the writing. Fake Kevin says, music off. Then Molly says, I'm off to the store. This is brilliant, but I like this. Don't pick on that, dear child. Hey, me today. She's out of the house. All right. Okay, this scene right here doesn't even make any fucking sense, because later she's revealed to be Marv's mom. So why does he care if she's out of the house? She's on their side. It's literally just there to make it a pointless twist, but it doesn't even make any fucking sense. If the prints don't arrive till tomorrow, why are we going in there now? To get the lay of the land. To get the lay of the land. What do you think, there? We're just gonna go in there tomorrow and start grabbing kids? Ooh, everybody get in the van! Coming up is a pretty good lecture on criminal success. I'd recommend taking notes if you're interested in that kind of thing. Do you know the secret to criminal success? Not getting caught. Planning. Preparation. Preparedness. Be prepared. Be a prepared preparator, huh? It's really just good advice for anyone. Be a prepared, prepped preparator. Huh? Preparator! That's my motto, and that's why I'm... A Boy Scout. No, the boss. No, uh, the boss. Oh. No, the boss. Five minutes later. No, it can't be. It is! It's Marv! No, it can't be. It is. It's Marv. It's the kind of movie that just makes you tired. Door closed. Isn't it easier to just close the door with your own fucking hand? I mean, are you that lazy that even when you're trying to hide, you have to do the lazy option where you have to make noise? This fucking movie, man. This fucking movie. Door open. Door closed. I love this thing. Mom? 
when you have to add some stupid metal sound that doesn't even make any sense just because the door closing of that speed wouldn't do any damage. Five minutes later. Is that like a personal attack or something? Okay, this editing right here is just incomprehensible garbage. There's literally 10 separate shots in 7 seconds. I had to watch this first bit like 3 times to even understand what was happening. She has this reaction like an object's flying towards her, but she literally just leaps back for no reason. The way they switch the angle, you're expecting to see her perspective, but it's literally just a completely pointless angle change, and you can't even see shit because there's water everywhere. Then you have this useless 0.5 second shot of a faucet breaking that adds nothing. Great going ride, Daniel. Then this shot's randomly in slow motion for no reason at all. Then we have this sequence of three shots that should have been one. It's really just pure headache inducing. Apparently one of these editors also edited something called The Born Identity Crisis, which is like a gay short film parody comedy of The Born Identity. So now we're gonna watch that. What the fuck is going on? Who sent you? Too little too late, get off of me. Who are you? Do you get the headaches? Who are you? Say it! Okay, okay, you're my cowboy and I'm your little doggy. Take it easy on him. He doesn't remember you. He doesn't remember anything. If we're buddies, maybe you can help. Buddies? Jason Bourne. Tell me you did not get so wasted that you forgot that you're gay. What? <laughs> what? What? I'm not gay. I'm a trained killer with a crisis of conscience. You are such a drama queen. So I'm not a malfunctioning $30 million weapon? No, honey, you're just a big old queer. <laughs> it's good news, you're not a killer. Come on, sweet pea. I'm his sweet pea and he's my tater tot. Got it, you shameless fag hag? You shameless fag hag? Hey, don't you yell at her! Oh, you forgot me! I forgot everything! You forgot me! Alright, I'm sorry! <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry! Who the fuck made this? Considering I could have died, to hell with you! <laughs> yeah, if it weren't for me, you'd be fucking a woman right now. <laughs> yeah, by the size of your dick, I might as well be. What the fuck is this? Apparently, this is the only thing this person has ever made, but they have a special thanks on The Last of the Mohicans and Heat for some reason. <laughs> what the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, Home Alone 4. Then he floods the house, blah de blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. <sighs> Followed by more bad acting and shit dialogue. You! Hello, Marv. Hello, Marv. Long time no see. That kid? Is that the prince? No, that's Kevin. Kevin, Vera, Vera, Kevin. I think we got to lay the land. I think we got to lay the land. Could you imagine flooding the house of someone you hardly know and then being so lazy that you try to clean it up by using a remote that obviously doesn't have that capability? House, clean yourself up! I mean, what a fucking asshole. Well, it was worth a try. It really wasn't. Okay, I know it looks bad, but... Honey, what's the... Kevin, what happened? It wasn't me. Kevin, what happened? It wasn't me. Shut your fucking face. What happened to my lights? It was the burglars. The burglars? Yeah. And I recognized the one guy, Marv. Did I ever tell you about him? Well, that's another story. I recognize the one guy, Marv. You can just feel the history between these characters. They're gonna rip off your house. So you chose instead to trash it? So you chose instead to trash it? Oscar-worthy performance. What in the name of... Hey, why didn't you come when I was calling you? Uh, I was busy jerking off. Uh, get off my back. What's going on? I told you the burglars broke into the house. Kevin, you know, I can forgive just about anything. Remember the time you airplayed furry porn into the living room? You know I can forgive just about anything. Oh, right. So you wouldn't get mad if I wrecked the place, which I didn't, as long as I admit that I did, which I didn't? 
I've been trying to think of words to describe how much of an asshole this kid is, but I really can't. Which I didn't. We need to send the kids to the ranch. I can't believe this. 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 Didn't I warn you what would happen if I ever caught you in here again? Not specifically. Trust me. It won't be pleasant. What do you want? I thought I heard the boy. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. Prescott be like, Get out of my room, bitch! I think we just need to figure out a way to make him feel more at home here. Yeah, because you didn't give him enough shit in his room yet. No friends. No fun. No snow. Crippling depression. Unfunctional anxiety. Worst Christmas ever. Hey, Kev, how you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? They didn't think to do a second take there? Hey, Kev, how you doing? Hey, would you mind doing a second take where you actually enunciate your words correctly? Hey, Kev. Okay, this next scene is just like next level cringe. Like there's no way to mentally prepare you for what you're about to see. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is! Oh, we're still going to turn the little tree. Yeah. Sure, why not? Jingle bells, jingle bells. Well, that's enough of that. Next up is a very emotional scene. So you'd say you're not in a rut? I'm not in a rut. I thought maybe that's why you left. Kevin. These fucking piano chords, man. These fucking chords. Kevin. Kevin, you know. It's like the worst kind of film score there is, where it just cheaply tries to manipulate emotions that aren't there. It's like the score is just yelling at you like, Hey, isn't this sad? I didn't leave your mom to be with Natalie, okay? You want to tell me about it? <sighs> Look, adult relationships are just complicated. Yeah? If it weren't for me, you'd be fucking a woman right now. To hell with you! Meanwhile, at the other house. Well, that looks just about perfect. All that's left to do now is put on the star. Kevin always puts on the star. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to use the ladder this year. The only use we have for him was putting on the fucking star, but eh, a ladder can do that. Problem solved, glad he's gone. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to use the ladder this year. Wow, looks pretty good. I think it looks great. Shut the fuck up, I said it looks pretty good. I'm here for Kevin McAllister. I wasn't even sure he could even sleep without him. Well, we could buy him another stuffed animal. No. This is, this is, this is Teddy. Yeah, he was ballistic. He was crying. He was Look so at upset. these zooms. <laughs> There's over. still I chemistry be between be them. <laughs> well, it was the slow lane and there wasn't much traffic. Yeah, well, I don't know what he would have done if he'd lost it. Well, I think Kevin's going to have so much fun playing with the prince that he's not even going to miss the stuffed animal. Well, I think it's about time your ex-husband fucked me in the ass. Five minutes later, and it's party time, boys. Mr. Prescott! Hush, you. I have just about had enough of you and your melodrama. Look! Yeah, I'm sure that really hurt. Let's look at it without the metal sound. Smush. He's hardly even applying any pressure. What the fuck? Let's try it out. Get in the bag. Get in the bag. Me? Why don't you get in the bag? Because I'm the boss. Get in the bag, man. Nice. Window open. <laughs> Perfect. Door open. <laughs> Easy. 
easy, but still way cool. It's easy, but it's still way cool. Get out and stay out. Shut up, you little moron. <laughs> Kill it. Why is there a cut to a second shot showing the exact same thing? This editing is just crap, and why the fuck isn't this cheese falling out? Damn! He doesn't even impact the door. How lazy can you get? Yeah, go to your room and think about what you've done. That'll do the trick. <laughs> Hello? Huh? Oh, Kevin, I'm so glad you called. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. What channel? Why is Chuck's mother? She's power. And power is the only law! Kevin, are you awake? What the fuck is this? Sweet dreams. I've just had a nice little chat with Kevin. Well... I think we're beginning to understand each other better. I believe in truth. What are you watching? But I'm also a big fan of justice. They've been running it all night. Come on, watch it with me. I've seen it. So? So? All right. You gotta be kidding. Kate and I watch this every year with the kids. It's a family okay. tradition. Now that you're going to have a new family, maybe it's time for some new traditions. <laughs> Natalie and I gotta go pick up the royal family right now. Now? Wake the fuck up! But it's Christmas. Are you serious? I'm like, down the fucking road. You know how sometimes you gotta do things you don't wanna do? Why is he shaking his head? He's literally never had to do anything he doesn't want to. What the fuck? Hey, we'll be back before you know it, okay? Yeah, we'll be back before you know it, okay? There's some old booze in the freezer if you get bored. Bye! Next up, we arrive at one of the shittiest scenes of the film. Door open. Merry Christmas, Kevin! Merry Christmas. They literally couldn't get the rights to Somewhere in My Memory, so they're using the shitty royalty-free version where it starts on the wrong note and, like, dodges the melody while trying to be as, as close as possible without actually having to pay for it. It's total shit. <laughs> I knew it. Here they come. First step, eliminate the inside man. Mr. Prescott, can you help me with something? And what would that be? Another milkshake, perhaps? Remember that? Natalie said we need to get some wine from the basement for the royal family. Things can be better. Much better. Up here. Is that like a personal attack or something? That locked their accomplice in the basement. Is this a perfect plan or what? It would be, dear, except for one thing. Prescott is not their accomplice. I am. Hey, Mom! The cringe. Next up, we got some more editing that's complete shit. Ah! Oh, hey, Kevin, let me! Ah! Isn't there a trap door or something? They're too lazy to show her going down there, so they just do this shitty clock spin transition. Then suddenly, fake Kevin's, like, calm within two seconds, and fucking Prescott doesn't care. They just tried to lock him up, like, literally a minute ago. It's just really bad dog shit. I do have a cell phone, though. Perfect, man. Sure. Next up. Prescott admits to jerking off on the job. With all the cameras and intercoms turned off, I didn't notice anything, so why are you? You were covering your woohoo. Precisely. <laughs> Isn't that funny? 
If there's one person who got that reference, then you're a fucking legend. We travel around the world bringing fun and excitement wherever we go. You wanna try calling your mom again? Sure. Hello? Mom? Kevin! Honey, I can't hear you, there's too much static. I want you to Calvin resident? Hi, this is Kate McAllister. Little rascal called his mother. You want me to go show him who's boss? Help me move these boxes. The double here! Bingo. That's a bingo. I'm sorry I misjudged you, Mr. Prescott. Likewise. Why? You judged him as an annoying little bitch and you were completely accurate. That's accurate. You like those Tarantino references? Well, too bad I'm not reviewing his new film, even though I liked it. I'm just gonna keep talking about this colossal piece of shit. As soon as I get up, I'm gonna let you out. Five minutes later. Check out the living room, see if he's in there, all right? I can't believe this. I can't believe this! I can't believe this! Open bookshelf. Open open book bar. Open book bar shelf. Whoa! Stupid now, stupid. Hey, bar stop. Maximum speed. Says Up, the crowned prince shows up, and he be chill, and lit, and dank. I've got lots of fun planned for your stay. Can we go to Ridley Field and the <laughs> aquarium? Do you have any kids? <laughs> no, but I promise we'll have a very exciting time. Every single line he says is so fucking memeable. Can we go to Wrigley Fields and the aquarium? No one. Literally no one. The crown prince. Can we go to Wrigley Field and the aquarium? Can we go to Wrigley Field and the aquarium? Peter, what's he done now? Well, he saved the day, that's what. Everything about this movie is just so fucking annoying. How these three idiots just cross their arms in unison in the foreground while the idiot dad's in the background like, He saved the day, that's what. She's the boss. She's my mate. Well, looks like you're gonna have to find a new mate. Nope. And a new butler, I'm afraid. I resign. But why? <laughs> <laughs> when you have nothing better to say. But uh, why? Natalie. Then we get this predictable, cliched bullshit, where the divorced parents actually get back together at the end and realize they were wrong. They still love each other, and the fucking sap styled up to 11. I'm in love with my wife and kids, and I belong. Ugh, that stupid acoustic guitar and the score. <laughs> Young man, how are we ever going to show you our gratitude? Would your family like to spend Christmas with our family? That sounds cool! <laughs> In reality, thing? he'd just be like, No, fuck you, plebeian piece of shit. Music on. No fault. <laughs> hey. Fuck this movie with I knew glass. This was then we end on this borderline offensive 
awful shot of it panning out generically into nothing. Oh, what's that? You thought it was over? You thought the pain and misery was done? No one's ever really gone. Nope, you can't escape the awful music. Can we go to Ridley Field and the Aquarium? It's like the most obnoxious main theme song since the Avengers. <laughs> da 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 They can just combine into each other for one ultimate epic meme song. So yeah, that's Home Alone 4 also known as the movie where he's actually never home alone at any point in the film. What a useless title. And taking back the house? It was never taken over in the first place. Taking back my time. So yeah, that wraps up the video. Make sure to smash that motherfucking like button, share this video everywhere, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't. <laughs>